I gotta get a drink for this. Do you need a microphone? Oh, that was Chloe that said she needed a microphone. Test, test, two, two. So, I wrote a thank you, okay? So, my first is a thank you to Pat and Don. And uh, a thank you to Pat and Don starts off with thanks for sticking with Bill and Linda through all these years. <laughs> From Troy to Auburn Hills and then to Bloomfield Hills. But you tried many times to get away from, from Singapore to France and Australia and I think Florida. You always came back. So I guess it was my mom's Buckeyes. But thank you, Pat, for your strong faith in God. And thank you, Don, for the international experience that you, or flavor that you brought to our family through your work and all your travels with the family. And thank you for letting Justin stay at our house for his final year of high school. <laughs> I know he really, really enjoyed it. Pat did. <laughs> yeah, I will leave that for him. <laughs> and, uh, and for an unforgettable senior year trip that Justin and I spent in Paris with you guys. So Baby. thanks for the trips to Quebec. But sorry, no parlez-vous français. <laughs> and thank you for expanding my dad's horizons and introducing him to French wine. <laughs> Although last yesterday at Thanksgiving we did go back to Riesling. <laughs> or what do you call that, Dad? What was that? Rose, maybe? Rice. Same as tonight. <laughs> How about Zinfandel? But the list could go on and on, for there are many things to thank you for. But most of all, as Kristen said earlier, thanks for being a part of our family. We're all one big family, and you know, thank you very much. So the next one is a thank you to mom and dad. Oh so, boy. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for bringing my siblings and I into this life. And thanking you, thank you for being there when we needed you, need you, and will need you in the future. <laughs> Is that a threat? Yeah. It's a promise. Thank you for some unforgettable family vacations in the station wagon. Like getting robbed at a day's in on our way to Florida in Atlanta. Three to a bed. <laughs> and maybe a dog, I don't remember. And of course, uh, well, to summer trips in Maine with six people and a dog, and maybe air conditioning, maybe not. Not, not. It depends. If Karen was with us, there was no air conditioning, there was no water. Maybe we stopped at McDonald's once, you know. Split the french fries. Yeah. Split the french fries. <laughs> and in the end, we were flying first class, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you were. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and of uh, course, the winter trips up north. Uh -oh. Skiing. And thankfully, Jason was a part of our family. <laughs> Because he gave an unforgettable experience of hiding my dad's booze one time. <laughs> and then decided to record his reaction to the said loss of such booze. <laughs> Under audio tape. Look at boys going skiing. Look at my booze. Jason? <laughs> And thank you for all those IU football games tucked away in the corner end zone. I don't know how Mom made it through those days. Those were some outfits Dad you wore to them. 
still have Thank them. you for putting us through school. And from a personal standpoint, thank you for trusting in me, uh, though I'm sure it was uh, often doubted how I wonder why. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but thank you, Mom, for your uh, kindness and uh, unconditional love that you showed each and every one of us, including all the Orla kids. And uh, Dad, thank you for your wisdom, though it took a while for it to come to light. <laughs> the older you get, the smarter you become. The more you know. The more you know. But I'm sure that Frank, Ann, Albert, and Lona would be proud for you guys sticking together all these years. To be married 50 years and hopefully 25 more. You think you'll make it, Mom? <laughs> But we have so much to be thankful for, but most of all for calling you mom and dad. So, cheers. from the archives here. Um, what, what a ride it's been. Um, where to begin? Where to begin? Uh, it's going to be a journey in the next few minutes, so I'm just going to kind of play this off the cuff because I had an idea of what I wanted to talk about in my head, but uh, you guys are bringing back a lot of other, other little details from the archives. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for that, Brian. Um, I feel, I feel like every day is a blessing. Um, I was six weeks old when I was adopted to one of the most amazing families. And that has shaped the rest of my life. Every day has been a miracle since. And you just think, what if I wasn't adopted? What if this doesn't happen? I'm not here tonight. I'm not where I'm at today. And I just think about all the opportunities that I've had in this life. And none of that would have been possible without my mom and dad. And I'm so grateful every day. And you talk about angels in our midst and how God has a plan for all of us in this life. It wouldn't have been possible without them. Every promotion, every award, everything I have is because of them. And what they did and all the sacrifices. And let me tell you, they might be for saying that after me. <laughs> because I gave them a good ride. <laughs> Kept them busy. And I really appreciate that. When I was teaching middle school and high school, I used to see a lot of kids out there whose parents didn't take the time. And as much, this is when you know your mom's done her job. When you're walking down the street, you can hear your mother going, Jason. <laughs> Jason. Mom. Where's that voice coming from? That's when you know your mom's done a good job, and it may be, seem like, like she's nagging at the time, but she wants you to fly out of that eagle's nest, and let me tell you, we flew, and we flew high, and we've gone a long way, and none of that would have been possible if my mother hadn't kept her boot and my fourth point of contact. Some of you know what that is, yes? When you hit the drop zone, that would be your, your, your rear end. Yes, we'll keep it rated G with all the kids around here. There's a party after hours. <laughs> you get the other version then. But let me tell you, let me tell you, I, I, really, I really believe that we all have a purpose here, and I, I'm so grateful to my parents. And let me tell you, having the Sangs as part of our family, part of our big Ohana, our Hawaiian family, it's like you get, you get, you get double the blessings. Having Lynn and Bill, I always tell people, Lynn and Bill are my godparents, but they're not my godparents, but they're like my godparents. They're like second parents. Even though they're not my parents, but they're like second parents. So you could always tell Linda and Bill whatever you needed to tell them without any repercussions. It was like going to confession without the, without the beat down, you know? You're like, yeah, Linda, you know. And she's sitting there, she's a good listener, and I'm a good talker. <laughs> and then there was always Bill to bail me out, you know, when I lost my plane tickets and I was in a bind or crawling up his driveway in the middle of the winter, crash landing in that Ford Granada, French vanilla color, circa 1980. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the princess. That's right, that's right. 
476 Henley Drive. Let me tell you, that place was a magical place growing up. Every year when we lived overseas and, 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 and coming back home on home leave, I just remember, oh my gosh, if I can't sleep over at the Sang's house tonight, I'm going to be crushed because I do not want to stay here at the Kingsley Inn. Okay? So it was always exciting at the Sang house. There was always something going on. There was always entertainment, action, excitement. Mostly when you showed up. <laughs> yeah, Tommy's all quiet over there. Yeah, he's like, if I don't look at him, maybe he won't call on me. It's like we're back in classroom, you know? Like, hey, just don't look at the teacher, man. <laughs> He'll call on you. So, yeah, good, good old late night snacks. I remember listening to, what was it, uh, Wheels 98.7 and WRIF 101 riff. Yeah, and Brad, Bradley D would fall asleep at a, at a, at a casual hour, you know, because he needed his beauty sleep. The rest of us were just getting warmed up, you know. I discovered, I discovered all kinds of goodies in the sink fridge in your cabinet. That was the most well-stocked cupboard on the planet, man. Oh, you had hot dogs, you had, you had Pop-Tarts, cereal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And, and, and Linda's world-famous blueberry muffins and pancakes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, see, that's what you remember. You remember the little things. It's the little things. And all those great summers we spent with you guys. I'll never forget when you guys came down to Florida when we lived down there. I just had my hand smashed in the door, lost part of my finger, and they sewed it back on. You can take a look after I'm done talking if you want to come see the show and tell. But I'll never forget at the Amtrak station watching, oh, waiting for the Saints, here they come. And all of a sudden, I see this kid with a big smile on his face, staring out the window, <laughs> staring out the window with a wild, crazy look. Hey, there's Tommy! There goes Tommy! There goes Tommy! All right, the signs are here. And the smell of Bill and my dad's cigars on, 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 on the Tamiami Trail and that big motorhome, that big GMC motorhome. Bringing back some memories here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good times, good times. And, and I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, coming back, coming back in those summers, learning all the American slang and getting picked on because we had Aussie accents when we came back from down under. Yeah, oh, you Orlicks have accents, yeah. And learning all the little slang and all that and coming back to Michigan and learning how to be Americans all over again. Having two families, having, you know, the Sank family and having our own family. Like Kristen said earlier, it's, you just, you have, you have, you don't know where one begins and the other leaves off. And what a blessing. What a blessing to have, have friends like that. Because a lot of people don't have friends like that. And I really want to thank you, Linda and Bill, for all your guidance and all your sage advice over the years. And thanks for not ratting me out. And uh, <laughs> I'm sure they had consultations on the side, you know, Mazar. I want to thank all the, all the Sang kids for, for your friendship. You know what's great is when you can, you can be away for five years, six years, and you come back and you just catch up and you pick up right where you leave off. No problems. That is a sign of true friends. So I want to raise my glass here and say thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you, Linda and Bill, like a second set of parents. How blessed we are. Thank you. Thank you. You're here. We're going to start singing now? <laughs> Now I know. Anyway, please continue eating. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for making these special efforts to be here. To I'm sure for both Pat and Don and us. Your being here is the greatest present of all. And now you want to hear the rest of the story, how we got to it. Yes. Aaron asked me if I would say a few words about how we got to it. Yes. We created what my boss, Jay Alex, would say is the win-win. You know they say if you win, the other guy loses. You shouldn't even talk to each other. And that's the GM model with their suppliers. <laughs> and if you were going to lose and GM would win, then you both shouldn't talk. If you're a lose-lose, you shouldn't even be in the same room. So what's left is a win-win. 
So we had a portable washing machine to get rid of, and we put an ad up in Virginia Place Apartments on Maple Road, Bloomfield, in uh, Florida. And the Orlicks live probably on the far place they saw it, and they bought it. So for a hundred. 50 bucks. We got a lifetime friend. It may have been 125. Memory it may have been only 75. I don't know. Keep going and it go down to nothing. In a minute. But anyway, that's how we all got together. And I don't think it broke. Don, you never did send me a bill for it. So that's how we all got together. It started with a washing machine for sale. And now you know the rest of the story. Linda says you made a profit on the washing machine. I always made a profit. <laughs> <laughs> what did you use then to figure I out how much per wash it cost you? Yeah. My 50 cent slide rule that pulls out the other night to show Oh my god. What's a slide rule? <laughs> you don't even don't you don't even want to know, man. <laughs> One step above an advocate. I guess yeah. Elliot, right? Yeah, you don't even want to know. Slide rule. We're playing it our brightest in one. And so if you get it in just one and you do a partial over, it just replace that one side, but you're replacing the elliptical part and the flat part. I know, I think Jamie well, I'm thinking of a left ear yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, in putting this slideshow together, um, I never really realized how much your families did together. And it kind of got to me. I had a tear, I'm not going to lie. And it's something that I want to strive for the rest of my life. To, to find lifelong friends who become family, just like you know, you guys are. It's amazing to me, and that really brought it to light. And I want to thank Grandpa because he is the one who got me through college. Got me. You know, <laughs> you know the, the National Guard helped some, but he definitely, you know, financially and as a mentor, got me through it. And I respect you beyond words. So I just wanted to tell you that, and I appreciate everything you guys have done, and uh, I appreciate your friendship and your familyship. It, it's amazing to me, and I want to strive for what you have. I truly do. So I'm not much one for talking, obviously, but <laughs> thank you for everything. I, I really do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're thinking before we were thinking it, and <laughs> this is one time. <laughs> I don't know, Brian, Brian may have had a little party, I don't know, maybe, just maybe. But Linda walks in with Bill, and she looks around, she puts her bags down. <laughs> woman's intuition, woman's intuition. And we're standing there, she's like, something is not right here. And I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Oh yeah, she had her little informant network, Mrs. McPartland next door, and that guy with the cigar who wrote SAT test next door, I don't know, yeah. I don't know what his name was, Dr. Kaczynski or whatever in the basement over there. Yeah, but she knew, she knew something. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be leaving now. <laughs> See you, Brian. <laughs> Have a good one with that. <laughs> they knew what we were gonna do before we even did it. But yeah, Linda picked up right on it. And I, we're still, I'm still wondering, did she already have the cue from Mrs. McPartland? She just saw something. She looked in the living room, she looked around, looked in the basement, looked upstairs. She was like, something's wrong here. Something's not right in my house. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Yes. And Brian, you can finish the story later on if you want. I, I don't know. I think there may have been like a Grateful Dead concert going on out in the backyard that night. Something like that. Maybe, I don't know. Brian was in his Jesus mode back then. He was saving the masses. He was preaching the gospel and saving the neighborhood from themselves. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. Hang on, hang on. 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 Hang on.
<laughs> they've been practicing this for like 20 minutes in the bathroom. Who has the <laughs> boy, The younger boys. <laughs> Alright, set them up. Ready? No. Oh, Wait for Brian's cue. I'm not nervous. Landon, that picture was beautiful. Tell us that. We do. I'm sure. Oh, what? Someone's here. I don't know if you guys are crying about it. Yeah, get him. They're going to leave him out. I'm ready. I still have that tie for this short right now. Come on, Chloe. Go so, tell me. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to bring it down a little bit and keep the house going. Oh yeah! We just is everyone ready for the swag trips y'all been going on. <laughs> it's all paid for. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Over there, Ryan. Over there. Um, this is not on the schedule, but I need I need Kate and uh, Ryan and Elliot and uh, Kristen and. Do I have a representative from every individual family? Yes. Brad, Jason. Do I have somebody from? I have somebody from Tom's family. No. Nope. Ariel. Okay. Ariel. Okay, Ariel. 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 Okay, Ariel. Ariel. Oh. Elliot. No, Ryan. Kate. Ryan. And then Ryan. Okay, Kristen. Oh, all right, I think that's good. If you would all join me downstairs for just a moment. Oh God. And we'll be right back. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. okay. Things never change. Old we? sister, older sister, cracking the whip. Did you say old sister? Older. <laughs> no, I, heard I heard old. old. I heard old. I heard old. Older. 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 More wit, more wise. However you want to look at it. Really? <laughs> what do you want? As everyone has uh, mentioned earlier, uh, this is truly a great celebration to gather our families like this in this capacity over all these all these years. And uh, there's things that probably need to be cleared up later. <laughs> A few. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, in all, all sincerity, I would like to, to thank and a uh, big thank you to Pat and Don for being my godparents and, and giving me a wonderful example of, of growing up in the faith and, and what that means. And also for sharing in the uh, adventures and the culture that you brought into my life, like the trek through Red Light District in Amsterdam and <laughs> a few other places around, around Kyrie. And then Don cruising around, taking us around in the uh, Pontiac Transport minivan in Paris that seemed like an outer space vehicle at the time. That was awesome. And then cruising around the Autobahn, back and forth, back and forth. That lead foot just get us going. Um, so those are all some, some fond memories. And mom and dad obviously just being there all through the years and from playing uh, my soccer matches at all, uh, Lasser and Albion and going out to, and supporting those to all the Ironman races. Um, I think my dad made 20 out of 21 and mom was 19 out of 21. They didn't go to my very first one. I don't know why. It was probably... I have to prove you were going to go ahead. Yeah, but, and Pat and Don as well being at many of my races. Uh, so from a, from a little kid as you saw in the images, the, the slideshow all the way up to a young adult racing triathlons at a pretty high level. Just having that support and unconditional love, no matter good, bad, or the ugly, uh, as things can get in our lives. I, I really appreciate both of you, all four of you, for where you've been for me as a compass in my life, and would just like to toast that, and I left my glass at the table. <laughs> here, here. Thank you, and love you. Love you. Love all four of you. Do you want me to do this, Karen? Okay. Well, sorry. What, what's, Hold on, Tom. Just to represent oh, yeah. our solidarity and what we've done as a family, we made a commemorative t shirt to mark this momentous milestone of 50 years as couples but also as friends and family. So, thank you so much for everything, and we love you very much. It's uh, true friends are hard to find. True love is even harder. Here's oh, to yeah. both Pat and Don, Linda and Bill, established 1963. There's enough for everybody downstairs, though. Yep, everybody gets a t shirt. Everybody's a winner tonight. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Aaron. Thanks. Aaron. All right, everyone sit down. Right. I guess my sister wants me to sit. say something. And, uh, <laughs> I, 
I prefaced everything earlier uh, this week by letting people know, and I think Kathy especially, that everything she was going to hear tonight would be nothing but a story and only a story. <laughs> Um, a true story. But it, yeah, a true story, <laughs> or an untrue story. Um, and, and I'm probably responsible for a few gray hairs out there, but I'm not responsible for all the gray hairs. 75%. I know that much. <laughs> I guess I, I could take a, uh, this time to just to thank, uh, first off, everybody that came to Pat and Don, uh, and to my mom and dad. Um, you know, I think all through life we've all had a few trials and tribulations. Um, me, certainly, and, uh, yeah. starting from I don't remember what age, Second I don't grade. know that it'll ever end, but um, the one thing that I, I, I do know is that no matter how, how hard things ever got for any one of us, we always had some sort of voice of reason that we could go to, to ask for something, some sort of advice. And it was always there. Whether we wanted to hear the advice or we didn't want to hear the advice, it was there. Um, and I guess the saying goes, the older I get, the smarter my parents are becoming. And for me, who sometimes was at the slow learner's table, probably downstairs somewhere, um, that, that has meant a lot. You know, I, to get up here and, and, and try and think of, you know, I got all kinds of funny stories that happen. I go from Jason and I riding bikes through the pits when we weren't supposed to be there. Um, you know, and, and the stories that we've heard about people trying to imitate police cars and, um, you know, all the other things that have gone on in our lives. We're all still here today. Um, and, and yes, thank goodness. There were probably a few prayers said for all of us. <laughs> That's not even your mother saying that. <laughs> and we still need them. Trust us. We need them still. Because as, as we grow, and, and you know, I think for me now, and sometimes I wonder whether or not I'm being the right parent, and I can at least ask those questions, you know, am I doing the right thing for my kids, and, and how am I being as a parent? So, but I, I wanted to just take a quick second to thank you guys for everything you've given us, Mom and Dad and Pat and Don, and like somebody said earlier, a couple people, it's not just our own individual families, but together we are one big huge family, so thank you.
What time am I allowed to leave from this? 11. What? Is this a good level? Yes. All right. There's nothing grown up like with two moms. All right, here's a quick Three. story. All right, so freshman year, I'm sitting with my neighbor, James. James Sheena. And um, we were talking about how annoying their moms were. And um, so uh, this kid man's like, oh, my mom's so annoying, blah, blah, blah. She's a Nazi, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, you guys got nothing. And then my friend James, who's my neighbor? He's been my neighbor for eight, nine years at this point. He's like, no, guys, Elliot beats both of us. He's got two moms. One of them's his grandma. And everybody's like, oh, oh my god, that's off. And I was like, eh, and heads up and down. But I would just like to say from both Laurel and I, thank you for raising two more out of your fund. Yay! Yay. And when the girls course those random Saturday and Sundays were always going over there. My mom used to tell them that she used to run to your house across the street with her um, Suitcase full of underwear and stuffed animals. So unfortunately, I was never that man to do that. But I knew I always had that option. It wasn't across the street, it was a bad joke.